Okay, hey guys. Um, I am going to try to um, help you today to understand something further. And as you already know, um, I've been dealing with EMF for the past six years. Um, in case you don't know what EMF is, it's, it's electronic. It's elect electromagnetic field. Sorry, I was at something with electronic. Now it's stuck in my head. But um, anyway, um, first and foremost, yes, um, this video is about grounding. And I'll show you how to measure certain things. Um, also, to remember my grounding wire that I made see it and if you don't know how to make it actually most people probably don't know how to make it I will uh, leave a little link up here usually I always I started to leave a link up here and at the end of my video now um, to help you further so if you take a moment and you um, uh, you take a moment and you look around you will see that I try my best to help everybody to go quicker they don't have to ask me any questions blah 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 all that stuff uh, but you can and some people gonna call this video crazy watch like my new saying okay this is this is from Jordan okay I don't know what crazy is I will never know what crazy is but I see what crazy does that's all I'm gonna say because I have called so many names that uh, just yesterday alone, let me tell you a little story. It's a funny one. He asked me, what is wrong? Uh, he saw one of my video that I taped up all my windows and stuff. And he asked me, what is wrong? Uh, what am I scared of? I'm like, I scared of, I'm scared of nobody. Um, I, I'm not even scared of God himself. If God stand in front of me, uh, hello, you want to take my life? Go right ahead and take my life. Do you think I care? First of all, I know my God, the God that I know. He's a loving God. He's a very loving God. And if you ask me if I love my God, yes, I do. Honestly, truthfully, yes, I do. And I am grateful every day for him or her because I don't know him, her, or it. Um, since I don't know who he or she is or whatever it is, the higher entity gave me a life to live. And first of all, what else can you ask that you be grateful for? So even if I'm in front of him or her or it right now, I can say whatever I want to say and he or she would understand. Because if you're a God and you can't understand, then what's, you know, but anyway. So, even like, uh, sorry, a little sidetrack here, but uh, it's, a, it's a little funny story. But the funny thing is, this person, right, wrote, uh, asked me what's wrong with me for, for blocking my windows and stuff because I'm blocking, I'm trying to block EMF. You can never block EMF. It's everywhere. But, uh... Are you going to crucify me for trying? I mean, come on. Might as, might as well nail me on a cross, right? But hey, like I said, I don't make... Uh, I don't know what crazy is, but I know what crazy does. And also, too, I don't make conspiracy theories. I don't make alien videos. I don't make Bigfoot videos. I don't make Loch Ness monsters. That tells you a lot about me. I have no videos of those. That alone tells you a lot about me. But anyway, I'm telling you, it's like I'm dealing with it like daily. But you see me stopping? Uh-uh. No, no, no. Sorry. I'm not going to stop because I'm going to help a lot of people out. And I could care less what people think or say. It's just... No, I don't care about that person. I'm just laughing because it gave me a laugh. You know, I should say thank you for the laugh. But anyway, 
Let's get to this video here. I know I'm trying to give you a little story. Each time I do a video, I try to give a little story. Maybe you can get a laugh out of it. Hey, what else can you do, right? Anyway, like I said, I don't know what crazy is, but I see what crazy does. Anyway, here's how you measure your voltage inside your body, okay? Now, you have to be on AC. You get a meter like this, okay? And you have to be on AC. Plug your your ground in, okay? Right now, I don't want to touch it because I'm going to take, take that away. Take my energy away. I'm going to touch myself. And I'm going to touch the meter in the ground. And see how it jumped up. It went to 1.3 volt. Okay, 1.33. If I let go, come back to nothing. We're in millivolt right now, okay? I hope you can read um, a meter. Okay? Yes. I'm so crazy that I can read a meter, but they're, they're so sane that they can't read a meter or even know how to operate this, this meter. Ha! Ah, thank you for another laugh. Anyway, so I'm going to try it again. First, do not touch this wire because this wire is ground, okay? When you touch them both together, you can see it's, it's neutral and it's going to go to zero. It's because it's going right to the ground. Now, you can't touch this. You have to touch yourself. Okay, then you touch the meter and you see how much that is. Okay, right now I'm at one four something. Now watch this what happened. This is why you have to watch this video and understand EMF. Okay, I'm going to wear it. And I'm going to touch myself. And I'm going to touch this side or this side, whatever. It becomes nothing. Because I'm discharging it right now. You can't really measure anyway. I can actually touch here. Into the ground directly itself and touch here. I'll become nothing. Because most of it is gone. See, even I touch it. If I let go, see what happened? It's going to neutralize. See how, see how less of a voltage I am now? It was what, at 100 something. 100 something millivolt, okay? I wanted to leave in millivolt because it's only about one point something volt. And then you would have to move the two decibel right here over, okay? Now watch what happened. I'm gonna leave this here because we need to ground this, okay? One side. Arr. I need to open this up a little bit because it has to stick on to into here. Oh, I need um a plier to open this up a little bit so I can put the, the ground in. Hang on, be right back, okay? I'll try to do it quick because I don't know what a plier is. Okay, found it. Sorry, found it. Okay. I'm gonna leave this out a little bit because Technically, we're just connecting one of these to here. Okay. That way, I don't have to do anything. Okay, so now it's connected. Now, whenever I touch it, I'm going to leave it right here. Whenever I touch it, automatically, it's raising to one point something volt. Okay. So, right now, I am at one point something volt AC. Remember, you have to put it on AC. Okay. Now, watch what happened. When I touch the light, see this light right here? There's a light right in front of us. You see the shadow. I'm going to touch it. Okay. Now watch what happened. Look what happened. See how I'm absorbing? As I get closer, you see how the light get darker? Look, look, at the, look at the meter. Now as I go out. This is what happened the same way when you go out in the sun. Please remember that. Okay. When you go out in the sun, this is what happened. See that? Your voltage goes up. Whoops. I hate this thing. It's only it only stay for like few few seconds. I can't really go close because my hand will burn. 
So you went to two point something volt because I'm charging myself. And this is what I tell people all the time. You walk around, you charge yourself. You actually, like a battery, you absorb uh, EMF. Believe it or not, you're like a, 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 a little tiny battery and you have a charge of yourself. And look, I probably be the first one in the world to understand this as well. So if, if you know somebody to give out awards, I should get award for this one too. I am the first person in the world would tell you this. Look. Wait, let me turn on this. You charge by going towards light. Okay. See how I I get away because the light light brighter now. I go close. Look what happened. See that? Now if I go out in the sun, it does the same thing. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. What I step on right now is a, a rug. I'm not going to show it to you. My foot is kind of like all dirty because I was outside. But I have demonstration for you. I brought myself. Actually, I don't. I only need a wood and plastic. You see, this is wood and this is plastic. Or whatever the material they... I don't even know what the material they put in this one. I know a lot of things, but I don't know what that kind of material they got in that one. So if anybody knows, please let me know. <laughs> anyway, oop, sorry. Right now, watch how I can charge my body. I'm going to touch it again. And I'm going to rub. Walking around. Look at that. Look at that. The, the fluctuation of the meter. So if you're walking in carpet... You can actually charge yourself. Look at that. Look at how it's jumping. Look at the voltage. Now, let's say if I step on wood. This piece of wood right here. Actually, it's a cutting board. Ah, shit. Oops, sorry. I'm not supposed to swear. Shit. I cracked my board. Now, look how the voltage is. It's jumping back. See that? It's only one point something. See, it's jumping back to my normal. It's because wood does not absorb a lot of EMF. It actually, and yes, I probably the first person in the world again tell you, pine trees actually block EMF. Believe it or not. Yes, I'm the first person in the world tell you that pine tree actually block EMF. Whoops, I kind of cracked it, but it's okay. Maybe I'm getting too fat. Anyway, now I'm going to try with plastic. I'm going to put it on the ground and I'm going to step on it. Right now, I only got one point something. Okay, let me, let me recharge for a second. Sorry, I have to go into the light to recharge myself. Okay. Now I'm at one point something. Now let me rub on the plastic. Look at that. I'm rubbing my feet with the plastic and look how it jumps. See that? Some part is going up to two something volt. See? Three volts. Look at that. Two something. You see that? And you hear me rubbing. And that's how that works. Okay? Because we walk around and we absorb. That's it. Sort of like, um, take a piece of meat and throw it in, um, uh, brine, like salt. What happened? It absorbed the salt. It takes the salt. Well, energy does the same way. EMF, electromagnetic field, does the same way. And remember, I will always tell you this and again and again and again and again. And I should win an award for that too. Electron does not die. It does not die. It dissipate, meaning it scatter out, but it does not die. And if you see my other videos, I actually said this. How can a star, okay, a star that is about 3.5 million light, three light years away, 3.5 average, okay, an average. I think the farthest one to us is 4 point. Four point something. 
But let's say an average 3.5, let's say around the universe is all 3.5. How can a light come 3.5 comes to here? 3 point something light years to come here. But that particle has left long ago, three point light years away, but we're still able to see it is because they don't die. And that's how it works. And yes, I should win a Nobel Peace Prize for that one too. Ha! You can call me crazy, right? Anyway. And I will tell you again and again and again, I will be the first person that tells you so. So. Let's get back to grounding. I have a little education today. <laughs> so let's go back to grounding. Grounding, it's just basically we neutralizing that. So let's say if I put my bracelet on right now, and I am charging right now, but it won't do anything because that extra energy will send it directly to the ground, like what I have right there. Right into that plug right there. Okay, so that's what it does. Okay, so by grounding like this, you are discharging your battery, the internal battery. You saw my battery, my battery is 1.3 to 1.4. Uh, uh, as far as I know, it's about 1.4. Sometimes 1.45. I've never seen it goes to 1.7. I've measured my dad and he actually have 1.7. So he's actually higher than I am. I'm actually really low. So I don't know if my battery, my internal battery is actually a lot weaker or is it better than anybody else? I don't know that one yet. Maybe someday I will. You guys hang around with me enough. You probably will. Anyway. So if you want to learn, hang around with my channel for a while. You might learn something. Hey, at least for entertainment purposes, right? Hey, at least I can tell you a story about other people, right? But anyway. So that's how you measure it. And I've seen this a lot. And I've seen a lot of people ask questions about... Um, grounding and does it take tinnitus yes it does it helps it won't because tinnitus remember there's one of the video i mentioned that they thought people thought i have tinnitus or even myself thought i have tinnitus because i hear this tone this ring all the time it's always buzzing in my ears but when i started to sleep in my faraday cage it's starting to go away i'm like aha uh -huh. there gotta be something so for the people who think that they have they have tinnitus they might not they do not have tinnitus but they're hearing the ringing they're actually hearing the frequency because if you have keen hearings you will be you will have tinnitus that means the particles around you is actually ringing your ears you don't really have tinnitus i'm sorry to say but I don't think people do. I think it's just this frequency changing the eardrums that are able to vibrate the eardrums because they're so keen to hearing. Understand? So now, let's get back to grounding. So grounding would help you with that. Grounding would help you with um, discharging your EMF. Sort of like if I touch it now and I touch this down here, over here, the... Uh, the, the 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 ground itself there's there's a ground right there and look there's nothing it's practically nothing point four usually i'm at one something but if i take the bracelet off and i just touch it and i touch this and look at it i'm right now at one something because i'm discharging a lot remember in the beginning of the video i was at one point two 1.3, 1.4, now I'm, I'm actually lower now, see? Because I discharged my battery. There were one point, I'll tell you a little story again. Let me take a little break. There were one point, I actually was, I questioned that. 
there must be a way to discharge this and that's what it is that's what grounding is and it took me a long time to realize this because there were one time I said there has to be a way because they told me that there is a human have a battery and I said there has to be a way to discharge the battery maybe that's why I'm weak maybe but that's why I'm tired maybe I'm this or maybe I'm that maybe it's affecting blah 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 and when I started to do this my health got better and that's what basically is that's what basically charging discharging the extra energy that you have in your body and that's what grounding is so if you never heard of grounding and stuff maybe ask me questions instead of calling me crazy because like I said hmm funny for a person who is crazy can do a lot of things can 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 at least I'm not really good in English, but at least I can form a sentence. I can form a coherent sentence, maybe. I, but here's the problem. They are so sane that they cannot write a complete sentence. They cannot form a sentence. They cannot write a sentence correctly. Imagine. Ha! Ah, funny for being crazy, don't you think? Hmm. I told them, I told people all the time, you better look at yourself in the mirror before me, before you call me names. Because let me tell you, I am not your average person. But let me tell you, I am more than that. So, anyway. Um, so, that's just something that I have to deal with daily. Sometimes they call me all sorts of names and stuff. Before that, I used to delete them. Delete. Um, because, you know, I get alert all the time on my on my account. And they used to call me all sorts of names and stuff. Because especially in the radiation. Uh, not radiation. I'm starting getting some. Not all. Because they, they don't know how to attack me. Um, but I get a lot in my air conditioner. If you've seen some of my air conditioner. Oh my God. I start to leave some now. But oh my God. Before that, they used to. They used to. Jesus. Like... I don't even know if Jesus exists, but I'll use his name anyway. I mean, like, Jesus. They are actually, I don't even believe in Jesus, just to remind, but I'll say it anyway. Jesus. They actually leave, oh my God, insane comments. And here's the thing they don't have a period, they don't have a comma. It's like a whole sentence without, it's like a whole paragraph without no, no period, no end. And then I love when they do these two. They make, um, they put a period, and they put a space after a period. Hello? I mean, I'm sorry, a space before a period. <laughs> Who t whoever taught you that? And sometimes they put a comma. They'll put like a comma, 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 comma. Hello? All you need is one, but sometimes, unless, see how the, the, the brain, the brain doesn't work too well because... It's a period, period, period. That means it's a run on whatever. Like, let's say, I am whatever, period, period. But then I have to put a comma because I have to complete that sentence. But anyway, they don't do such things. They put comma, 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 or a period after commas or whatever. But like I said, the writings alone, you can tell a lot about a person. Just the writings alone. If you analyze the writings alone, you can tell a lot about a person. So if you see pulse and stuff like that, and you see, oh my God, this person's like talking out of their a a a a s s. It's like hello, like hello. I have better luck. I sometimes, you know what I think? I have better luck talking out of my a s s. At least you can um sniff it and then figure out what I ate last night, right? Funny for being crazy, right? <laughs> I'm like, you know what? Sometimes you have better luck talking out of your ASS because at least I can sniff it and I can tell you what you ate last night or at least have a little educated guess, right? But anyway, I just figured to throw those things in just to make you laugh. And I hope you do because some of these people are like, oh my God, it's like, hello, did your mom drop you a few times? I don't think your mom dropped you a few times. I think your mom just let you pop out and then just fall on the floor. No one was there. They didn't dare to cut, catch it. You know, maybe they don't want it in the beginning. But anyway, it's like, hello, people. Lighten up. But the problem is, is that it is you that you have to look in the mirror first before you started saying crap about me. You know what I mean? It's like, 
I mean, like I said, I don't know what crazy is, but I see what crazy does. But anyway, I hope this is a video is like kind of fun to you because I mean, telling you little stories like this, is, it's kind of fun because they would say a lot of stuff. I mean, they would say a lot of stuff, especially on my channel. And they probably say a lot of stuff about this too. But I just want to throw that in there and I hope you learn something from this. Um, learning how to measure your body and learn how to ground. So basically, yes. The question is, does grounding help with EMF? Yes, it does. 100%. Because you are discharging the extra energy that you that you absorb daily or whatever. Like walking on carpet, yes, you do absorb it. Walk, you saw me walking on this, and it stops. Because it's wood. I walk on regular, uh, on, on regular, my regular floor. You saw how it spiked up. Carpet, wood, even plastic. Yeah funny as that so anyway it's a, not a lot of charging but it will harm your body let me tell you that so anyway i hope you like this video and i hope it's more entertainment purposes but i hope you learn something because that's what's the important here but anyway i hope some of the story that i tell you it's kind of funny too and i hope you get a laugh out of it because i certainly do and i certainly do every day but anyway um i'll just see you in the next video